a new Tool Day Tuesday where I share with you unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Today's tool has been sent to us by Kai Wheats and we have done reviews over their tools before. This is a circuit breaker finder and they have recently upgraded the circuit finder. The P means that it is the new model. So we have the new model that we're going to test today. It does come in a nice zip up carrying bag. And inside that carrying case, you're gonna find the manual, a set of batteries, a couple of different types of adapters, a pigtail with alligator clips on the other side. You will find the transmitter. This is also a tester, and this is the receiver. Very quickly, let's talk about the adapters that they send you. This particular one allows you to test out of a light socket. You can screw this in, and now it gives you a place to run your test. And this particular adapter allows you to plug into a groundless receptacle. So if you don't have a ground pin on that receptacle, you can use this. This will allow you to plug your device in and do your testing. Since the light bulb socket doesn't have a ground, you'll have to double these up as well so that you can do your testing. But regardless, they give you plenty of options, plenty of different ways to test different things. And then if you had some bare wires or something, that you were testing the pigtail allows you to clip onto those bare wires and then plug your tester into the end of that and then this would allow you to do some testing the receiver or the sniffer as some people like to call it operates on a couple of buttons it does need to be turned on and it does take batteries once you turn it on you'll be greeted with a beep and you're going to see that it is trying to sniff it's trying to read what it can right now as we speak it also has a light on the end of it so if you're kind of in a dark place and you need some light it does have a flashlight built into it you can turn that on and off as needed it does have a reset button and that is because every time you use it you technically calibrate it we'll talk about that also in a second the transmitter also takes batteries because it is going to transmit it does have a power button and not only is it a transmitter, it is also a tester. So it's gonna make sure that your ground, your neutral, and your common wires are all in the appropriate places on your receptacle. It will also test a GFCI circuit. That's what this button is for. We will test that and make sure it functions. And taking a quick look at the screen, you can see it's backlit. So you're gonna be able to read this even in a dark place. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and plug it in. It's going to show us the voltage that it's reading on the mains. It's telling us that it's 120 volts, 120.4.9 is kind of fluctuating. That's pretty normal for my area. But right here, you're gonna see that the neutral, the line, and the earth ground is all correct. If there was a problem, we would have a red light. We have a green light, so we know this receptacle is correct. We know it's okay. Now this is a GFCI circuit, so let's go ahead and test it. And to test it, you hold down on the test button until it trips. Let's go ahead and try that. and it tripped and it says pass. So we know that the GFCI circuit is working as well, but now let's go ahead and see if we can find the breaker that this particular receptacle is connected to. We're gonna reset our GFI receptacle. We're gonna reset our tester, plug it back in, and now we're gonna to go to the breaker panel and see if we can find it. From here, we just need to turn on the device and we need to calibrate it. Now to calibrate it, Really all you need to do is run over every single breaker in your panel one time. So we're just gonna drag it across all the breakers and this is calibrating it. It's very important that you do this one time. Okay, this calibrates it. Now we're clear to do it again and it will find the breaker. Now I have a sneaky suspicion it's going to ring down here because I know that's where that outlet is, but let's go ahead and see if it'll find it. So it's kind of beeping up here, but it's not giving us a sure signal. And we have nothing. Let's go again. And there it is. Now I want to show you something. This is a dual tandem breaker. And it's kind of detecting something there, but it's really detecting it there. And if we turn off that breaker, I can guarantee you that it is going to be the right circuit for the receptacle. And you can see right now that the power has been taken away from the outlet. The tester is blinking and it's letting us know. Let's go ahead and turn that breaker back on. And the tester quit flashing and now it is measuring voltage again and it's happy. So what are my final thoughts of the Kiwi circuit breaker finder? Well, I think it's a fantastic tool. I love that it comes with a nice case. Everything you need is included in this case. I like the fact that it has a couple different adapters and a pigtail in case you need to test that way. I also appreciate the fact that the transmitter is also a tester. So we know that the wires are in the correct positions. We know that our grounds are good. 
having a tester like this available to be able to find those breakers is absolutely fantastic. I can't tell you how many times I've had to flip breakers and listen to somebody else yell throughout the house to figure out what breaker was tied to what light or what receptacle. At the time of this video, this is running around $55. You can buy it on Amazon and I will put a link down below in case you're interested. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.